Welcome back. This is the first session of the Regulations Learning Module. In this session, we're going to cover small UAS registration and if there are any changes to the registration information, updates of any type, I'll show you how to do that. Also, we will talk about the UA identifier and properly marking your UA. All right, let's dive right in with SUAS aircraft registration definitions. The first one, citizen of the United States, is just that, a citizen of the United States or one of its possessions. The rules and regulations state that no person may operate a small unmanned aircraft that is eligible for registration unless the aircraft is already registered and marked or the aircraft weighs 0.55 pounds or less. So, for comparison, a roll of quarters weighs exactly half a pound. There are restrictions and requirements of registering your small UAS aircraft. First, it must not be registered under the laws of a foreign country, and it must be owned by a U.S. citizen or a U.S. corporation. It must be registered under the legal name of the owner. As a side note, registration is not evidence of aircraft ownership. Also, to register a small UAS, you must be at least 13 years or older. Do not confuse this with the eligible age to take the SUAS exam, which is 16 years or older. There may be reasons to update the information regarding SUAS aircraft registration, and if there is a need, you can do that online. It's pretty easy. If there are any changes regarding the registration information, you need to do that within 14 calendar days. So here are some examples that may require updates to the database. A change in your name or address. Don't confuse this one with the remote pilot and command certification updates. That's 30 days. Additional examples include aircraft registration cancellation for any reason including sale, transfer, destruction, or export. Failure to register a SUAS may result in regulatory and criminal sanctions, possible civil penalties up to $27,500. There may be criminal penalties, and these include fines of up to $250,000 and or imprisonment up to three years. All right, you have registered your UA and you have been given a unique identifier. This unique identifier needs to be displayed or marked or attached to the unmanned aircraft, and it must be maintained in a condition that is legible and must be affixed to the aircraft for the duration of each operation. The unique identifier needs to be visible upon inspection. Registration of your UA is fairly simple and straightforward. Simply go to the FAA website that you see here and follow the instructions. 